subscribe button and give me a like on this video. So today's video is going to be what it's like for me, my first week on the green plan as a procedure on Weight Watchers. So um, as many of you know, if you watched my last video, I've decided to try green out because of my portion controls. I've been doing purple over the sort of the last month or so. It's going really well for me. However, I've not lost as much as I've wanted to lose. And I think that is purely down to portion control. I don't think I have enough self-discipline with things that are free, such as potatoes and pasta. And I'm sort of overindulging in those carbohydrates. So I thought I would restrict myself even further, go for the green plan. I've heard so many good things about the green plan, so many positive things on Instagram and other social media. So I thought I would give it a go. So fingers crossed this week goes really, really well. I have my high hopes. Um, I will say I'm not feeling too great, um, so hopefully it's not going to go, it's not going to start really bad this week by feeling poorly, but fingers crossed it is going to go well because I really want it to go well. I will vlog every single day and let you know how I'm getting on throughout the week. Hopefully it will go really well. Um, let me know what plan you're, you guys are on in the comment section below. Um, if you have any questions for me on any of the plans, because I have been after this week on all three plans now, so if you want any tips or sort of which plan I feel better, I can comment below in the section below. At the end of the week, I will also catch up with you guys, let you know how I got on, um, how much weight I've lost. Um, probably on Sunday, I won't film the whole day because I'm hoping to get this video up on Sunday. So I probably will only sort of vlog maybe just breakfast and then sort of edit the video and put it straight onto the YouTube. So fingers crossed this week does go well. I really have high expectations. Um, so just so you know, I have 47 points a day. And I have 42 weekly points. As many of you already know, I don't really use weekly points. I just find, for me personally, I just find I don't lose weight when I use them. It may be different if I'm, now I'm on green plan. I might test that for one day, go over on weeklies. Um, but yeah, so here is my video. First week on green plan. <laughs> So first breakfast on Green Plan, this is what I've had. This is the Aldi Seeded Life Bread. Looks like that. And it's five points for the bread. I don't personally point my butter, as I've said in my previous videos. But if you are interested, this is the Nord Pack Lighter Butter. And it comes out at two points, which is for a tablespoon. So that's my breakfast for day one. just checking in so it's Monday lunchtime it's just gone one o'clock and today I'm gonna have omelette for my lunchtime so I'm pretty excited so I'm just gonna show you how I make it myself so firstly I just spray some of the Aldi's own version of the spray like into a pan just a few sprays I've then got some eggs which again I bought from Aldi now because I'm on green plan these aren't free anymore so they're two points per egg and all I've done is I've just broken two eggs, so that's four points, into a jug and I've just stirred it around so it looks like that. So I'm just going to pour that into the frying pan. So it looks like that. Just going to make sure it's all around. Okay, so my omelette's now ready to add to my fillings into. So I'm just going to measure some cheese. I use the Aldi's lighter mature cheese and for one serving 30 grams I believe is three points. I'm just gonna measure it out.
and then I'm just going to add some ham as well. I've got this Tesco ham wafer thin cooked ham. I'm going to use one slice. I've already cut it up. I've just teared it. It says it, it's free for one slice, which is what I've used. So that's just one slice of ham and the 30 grams of cheese that I've used there. Yes, it's melted in so it's ready to flip into half. This is the bit I can never do. So I've just flipped it in half. Then I'm just going to cook both sides over. So this is how it's turned out. So altogether it's seven points for my lunch which is a cheese and ham omelette. again and I'm having toast so the same as yesterday this is my toast um, the bread is the seeded bread from Aldi it's five points for two slices and the Nord pack butter I have started actually pointing my butter so I've done one serving which is two points so that's my breakfast on day two food I wasn't feeling too great and I wasn't really in the mood to be filming on camera so I did insert some pictures just as you just seen now of my meals from yesterday along with the points so today new day feeling much better well sort of a bit better so today I'm actually having for breakfast so it's breakfast now so I am actually having quite a late breakfast it's, it's half 11 <laughs> it is quite a late breakfast but I'm really busy at work this morning so I've not really had chance to have breakfast so I'm having a broccoli rice yogurt. These are four points. They taste so nice. They're just really, really tasty. Four points. Um, so I'm not having toast today, mainly because we've run out of bread. So that's what I'm having today. Um, I will just say, <laughs> my hair isn't greasy. I've literally just been in the shower just to wash it. So if you're wondering why it looks like this, it's because I've just washed it. But yeah, so I'll check back in at lunchtime. So it's lunchtime now, so I'm just having something really simple. I'm just having a jacket potato with some cheese, and I've used the Audi cheese. So one serving, which is 30, 30 grams. 30 grams. I've weighed it out on my scales, and it's three points. So I'm having that with a potato, which is seven. So that's ten points. So this is my jacket potato that I'm having for ten points. Really yummy. Something simple, but it'll fill me up till dinner time. So just an update so we're on wednesday dinner time now so i've actually made we're having tonight i'm having some chips some normal ones that i get from aldi some steak cut ones six points for one serving and i'm having it with a homemade pizza pitta so these are the homemade pizza pittas that i've made myself um so all i've used i've used one pitta bread which i get from aldi then you get like a pack of six and they're four points each um, the sauce that I've used is the one I've used in my previous video, the tomato and herb pizza sauce. I've used a third of the jar. A third of the jar is two points. So that's what I've used. Um, I've also used 
So I've used the Audi cheese, the British Light and Mature. So for one serving is 30 grams, which is 100 calories. Um, and that is three points. And then, uh, so this one is my fiance's one, and he has pepperoni on his. So I've just used the Audi pepperoni. Um, so it works out that basically one slice is one point each. So he's had three, so that's three points on his. I've actually had ham on mine. So I use the Audi wafer thin cooked ham, this one. Now these are actually really good. I scanned it and for one, one piece, which is what I've used on there, which is quite a lot goes quite a quite a long way um it's actually free it's saying on the app which is quite good i suppose you could have another slice if you really wanted to have a lot of ham on there um so that's that's free technically so for mine you go so for my pizza pitta it's going to be nine points um and then for my fiance's it's going to be 12 points because he's had the pepperoni on his um, but with some chips you're looking at 15 points for myself and 18 points for my fiance we do get quite a lot of points so i mean i have 47 daily for example so it is just enough just for dinner time and that's what i'm having for dinner tonight so i just thought i'd show you what it looks like so this is the homemade pizza pitta that i showed you beforehand and these are the chips that i've had with it i have logged it as actually two portions of chips it's probably only about one and a half really I have logged it as two, um, so it is actually working out at 12 points for the portion of chips. Um, but that's how that's turned out. And then this is my fiance's, so he's had the pepperoni and he's had a bit a few more chips than I have. So, yeah, so that's all for today's. So, I will check in again tomorrow. So just an update, so it's Thursday today, um, so I'm just going to show you what I'm having for breakfast. So today I am having a much more filling breakfast. Me and my fiance thought we'd treat ourselves because tomorrow we do wake up for bank holiday, although it's in lockdown and it's a bit rubbish, we thought what can we treat ourselves with, we'll have a bigger breakfast today. I'm just going to show you some of the products that I use for what I'm going to have. So I'm having a, a little mini cooked breakfast, as I call it a grill up instead of a fry up. <laughs> so it's quite a big breakfast and I'm just going to show you what I use and how many points are in each of it. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to have two hash browns each. These are the hash browns that I use. These are the champion hash browns, which I buy from Aldi. So as you can see here, so for one serving is actually two hash browns. Um, so it's 155 calories and that is for five points. So we're just going to have two of these each. Uh, next up, we're also going to have these bacon medallions. Um, so these here, as you can see, it says for two medallions, it's 58 calories. Really, really good. If you were to have two, um, it is actually only one point. It's coming up on the app, which is really, really good. Again, I get these from Aldi. Um, I am actually, we are actually having three medallions. Um, and it still it comes under one point, which is really good for three, basically three pieces of bacon. So we're going to have three pieces of those. Um, we are going to have scrambled egg. Um, so these are the eggs I get. They're just, again, they're from Aldi. Um, we're just going to have one, one egg each. So one egg is two points. Uh, we're also then going to have two sausages. So these are the sausages that I rave about in lots of my videos. These are the Ashfield Butcher Select 40% reduced fat pork sausages. Um, I have ripped the bag open where it says, um, but as you can see, per sausage is 76 calories and it's all within green and orange. There's no red in there. So it works out that one, per, one sausage is two points each. So we're going to have two sausages, which is going to equal to four points. Really, really good. I, I don't think I've seen many sausages out there where they're two points per sausage. So yeah, really, really tasty. And then last but not least, we're going to have some toast. So this is the Aldi sliced seeded that I get. Oh my God, it's so delicious. If I would say anything about any bread that I've had on Weight Watchers, would definitely recommend this. For two slices, it's five points. Um, has it got one of those little things on it? Yes. So you can see here again, it's all green and orange. Um, so per slice, it's 89 calories. Um, and for two, as I said, it's five points. We are actually only going to have one slice of toast, which is three points, so still really, really good. So yeah, so that's all of the products that I use, um, and when it's finished cooking, I will show you the at the end what we're having for our breakfast of our, as I say, grill up. So I will show you that when it comes out of the oven. 
So I just thought I'd show you what it looks like it's come out of the oven. So this is the cook breakfast that we are both having, exactly the same. It works out as 15 points altogether, which includes all the items. I think that's really good for a big breakfast. We probably won't have much for lunch. And I have 47 points a day and my fiance has like 35 to 37. So quite a filling breakfast and hopefully we won't have much, too much for lunch. Maybe just a pita or something. But yeah, that's really good for 15 points. So that's breakfast today. So it's lunchtime now, um, so I'm just having something really small because we had such a big breakfast. So all I'm having is a ham pitta. So this is the ham pitta, I've literally just cut it into half. Um, what I use is these white pittas. Sometimes I do get whole meal as well, um, but I fancy getting the white ones this week. Um, so as you can see, per pitta it's 184 calories, and it is actually five points for one of these pittas. I've used two pieces of ham. Um, as you can see here, 34 calories per three slices. Um, I've only actually had two slices, one in each half, as you can see. So yep, that's my lunch for today, just something small. Hi, so I just thought I'd give you a quick update. I've just finished work. Um, me and my fiancé, we are actually now going to go for a walk. Um, we usually do this every single night. I just haven't really been logging it on my vlog this week. Um, but we are going to go for quite a big walk, hopefully. Fingers crossed, it's lovely day outside, typical wall and lockdown, and it's nice and sunny outside. So yeah, so just to get some, some fresh air and some steps in. So I will update you when I come back for dinner tonight. So see you in a bit. So this is what I've had. I've just had two jack of potatoes with 30 grams of the Aldi cheese that I've used previously in this video. Um, the baked potatoes I get from Aldi as well. The, you get a pack of four. Um, and then I've had the corn nuggets. They work out about one point per nugget. Um, and my fiance's also had the same. So that's for tonight's dinner. Very quick and easy. Something convenient. Hi, so just a quick update. So it's Thursday night time. I thought I would do sort of a, a midweek update um, of how I'm getting on so far with the green plan. So, so far, all good. I'm actually really loving the green plan. I love that I have 47 points a day. Um, I'm hardly going into my weekly list at all so far. <laughs> so, at the moment, it's going really, really well. And I'm finding that I've still got points left at the end of each day, which is really, really good. I'm finding I can have more in my meals because I have more points available. And I feel like I'm not so hungry all the time. I feel like it really fills me up with my meals because I'm tending to have bigger portions because I have the points there to use. So at the moment I'm absolutely loving Green Plan and hopefully it is going to work out for me and it's going to be the one for me. But I will let you know on Sunday how my week went for the whole week and if I'm going to stick with it. But yeah, so far all good. Thumbs up. <laughs> Just a quick update, so it's Friday breakfast time and I'm just having something quick and easy, but it's quite filling. I just have an egg on toast. So I just thought I'd show you what it looks like. So this is what I've had, it's nine points in total. It's four points for the two eggs that I've had, which I got from Aldi. And the bread is the seeded one that I've used in this video quite a bit. It's the Aldi seeded loaf and it's two, points for, uh, two pieces for five points. So that's nine points for my breakfast today. So it's Friday um, lunchtime, and I'm, as you can see, I'm outside getting some fresh air and going for a walk. So I will check in with you again when I have lunch. Hi, so just an update. So we've just got back from my walk, so I'm just going to do lunch now, and I'm actually going to be having ham pitters again. So these are my ham pitters, so it's exactly the same as what I had the other day. I use the Audi pitters, which are five points each, so that's ten points. And then I've used four slices of ham, which is 
one point. So that's my lunch for today. Hi, so just an update. So just putting dinner on now. Um, so it is actually Burger Friday. Woo! Just so I just thought I'd show you what I actually have. So these are the chips that I've talked about before that I have from Aldi. Um, so as you can see, it's all green and orange. Um, so it says for one twelfth of a pack is 156 calories, um, and that's six points. It's coming up on the app. Um, I have just sort of finished the bag off, so I've actually put loads on. So I'm gonna put. Uh, so that's for me and my fiance. So I'm actually gonna put between two and three portions on the app when I log it. Um, and then I'm going to be having these burgers. These are the ones that I get from Aldi. They are, one of them is three points for two. It is five points. Really, really good. They're really tasty. Um, I've had them. I've shown you them in my previous video before. Um, they are really tasty. So that's what I'm having. I'm going to have mine in sandwich thins. And Paul's going to have his in some bagel thins. So that's that's what I'm having for dinner. So this is my dinner, so as you can see I've had the two sandwich thins at six points, I've had the burgers, the cheese, which are one point each, and then I've had one serving of the Audi chips that I showed you earlier on. So that's for my dinner tonight. now and I am having exactly the same as I had yesterday I'm having scrambled egg on toast something that will fill me up till lunchtime so I can have something a bit smaller at lunchtime uh, so far I think this week's going really really well I'm really happy with it I'm really enjoying it so fingers crossed tomorrow's way in I will have lost some weight at least not again like last week <laughs> So this is my scrambled egg on toast, so it's exactly the same as yesterday, I've had the Audi bread which is 3 points each or 2 for 5 points and then I've had 2 eggs which I've scrambled in the microwave um, which is 4 points, so all together 9 point breakfast and that should fill us up hopefully a bit longer than lunchtime. Lunch, just before lunchtime and we're actually going to go get some steps in now um, so just a little bit of fresh air get those steps in hopefully we'll do two to three miles depends because it's really hot outside so it can get really stuffy and really like hard to walk when it's really really hot and obviously we can only walk so far with Boris's rules so yeah so I will update you when we come back and have lunch We did just over two miles, it was really good to get the fresh air and to get those steps in. I think we did about 6,000 steps, it's not too many but just enough to sort of in the boiling hot, it's so hot outside, lovely day, I wish we wasn't in lockdown so we'd go to a pub and have Pepsi Max ice with ice, oh, but I'm literally just going to have that now, I've just got some ice and I have some Pepsi Max and yeah, so we're just going to have some lunch now. So for lunchtime I've been really boring again, I'm having ham pitters, the same as what I've had a couple of times this week. So the pitters I get from Aldi are five points each and I've used four pieces of this ham that I get from Aldi and it comes up as one point for four pieces for some reason which is really really good. Um, Paul my fancy, he's actually having chicken and cucumber in his um, and I've just toasted them in the toaster as well so they are still quite warm. So that's what we're having for lunchtime today. We were going to have a, a Weight Watcher soup with a fish finger uh, sandwich thin. But unfortunately, it's so hot at the moment, you just can't be having soup in this weather. So I thought I'd have something quick and easy. So that's lunch for today. Hi, so just a quick update. So it's not quite dinner time yet. I just thought I'd show you one of the snacks that I brought. Um, so this is a bar, Balila, I think it's called. Um, I bought it from Home Bargains the other day, I thought I'd try them. Uh, this is the Cocoa Cream one. On the app it says it's three points for both, you get two in there, which is really, really good for three points. That are really tasty. I got them from Home Bargains, they were five for 50p. So we bought ten for a pound. Really delicious, but that's one of my snacks I've been having this week. So just an 
update. So it's Saturday dinner time now. Um, I have a really, really exciting today. I'm really excited. I love Saturdays. We always tend to have this meal. Having steak. So these are the steaks that I get. These are from Aldi. They're the Aberdeen Angus Rump Steaks. It's quite a big steak. As you can see, they're quite big steaks. You get quite a lot in them. Um, now on the app, when I've scanned it in, it only comes up at 200 grams. So I've just changed it to the 227 and it's coming up at 11 points. So I think 11 points for a steak is really good because it's quite indulgent. So that's what we're having. Um, we are going to have um, homemade chips. I'm going to do them in my air fryer. So for the homemade chips, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do chop two baked potatoes up. So they're seven points each. We're just going to have one each and share the chips between us. Two potatoes does go quite a long way for homemade chips. And I'm just going to pop them in the air fryer for half an hour, um, just shaking them every six minutes. And I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. So this is the steak and chips that we're having. So I've just used one baked potato. I've cut it up and cooked it in the air fryer. Um, and then I'm having the steak which I showed you earlier on. Just an update, just to let you know how my week has gone on Weight Watcher Green Plan. So I'm not actually going to be filming tomorrow. Um, I will only film just how much I've lost and I'll insert it at the end of this video um, of how much I've lost this week. But I thought I would just sort of give you a description now on how this week's gone, um, sort of the perks, what I've enjoyed this week and how, how everything has gone for me. Um, so fingers crossed I have got a loss tomorrow. Um, I am a bit naughty and I did have a sneaky peek on Thursday um, and I had lost a quarter of a pound. I know it's not much but it was, you do fluctuate um, in the week and I have been really poorly this week as you've known as you've seen through my vlog. Um, and I have, and it's for me it's my time of the month as well so you get quite bloated at that sort of time of the month and you do, they say you put way more than what you should, I think you put like between three and four pounds on or something like that. So I am, um, if tomorrow comes and I've not put any, if I've lost, if I've put gain, sorry, then that could be the reason why. But fingers crossed I have had a loss because I found that this week has gone so, so well. Um, so I will quickly say what I am going to have tomorrow, just to give you a bit of a broad idea on what I tend to have on a Sunday. Uh, I think I have said in my previous videos before, on a Sunday I have a binge day. Now what I mean by binge day is I do still stick with all of my Weight Watcher points. I tend to go over by like maybe 5 to 10 points, which isn't really going over because I do have my weeklies, which I have not touched this week at all. So technically I have, I won't go over anyway. But what I usually do is I have a little bit more to eat and I enjoy food more on a Sunday because I know I've still got a week to catch up with myself and lose a little bit more weight. So... Probably what I will have tomorrow, I'll probably have like scrambled egg on toast for breakfast. As you've seen in my, throughout this vlog, I've had that a couple of times. Um, I'll probably have something like pitta or a Weight Watchers soup at lunch. Again, you've seen that throughout this video. Um, and for dinner, I always have the same on a Sunday. <laughs> I sound like such a square bear, I sound so boring. But I always have the same on a Sunday, which is I have a beef pasta bake. So we used to have bacon and cheese pasta bake and it wasn't too many points. I think it worked out like something 16 points. But I've started to get really poorly after having lots of amounts of milk and cheese. I think I may have a little bit of like lactose intolerance. So we have sort of tried to steer away from those sorts of things. So we are now having a beef pasta bake. It's still enjoyable. It's really, really delicious. If you head over to my Instagram, it's Kiki the Fussy Eater. Um, you will see the picture the when I upload it tomorrow of my beef pasta bake. I've also had it before. Um, it's really, really nice. I have it out of a recipe book, which is called Nosh for Students. Um, it's just a cookbook I've had for a while. Um, it, it's not even a slimming book. It's just a recipe for students. And to be honest, because I'm a fussy eater, I find that most of these recipes in this book are really, really delicious because... They are more basic foods, and they're foods that I like. So that's what I've done it from. Um, if I can find the link, I'll link below what cookbook I use. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's still available to buy. But if it is, I will leave it in the description box below. 
So that's probably what I'll have tomorrow. Um, I will, as I said before, I'll put a clip in and let you know how much I've lost tomorrow. So, how this week has gone for me. I have found it to be really, really good. I am really impressed with Green Plan. I think for me why it's worked so well is because I've, I've been more, I've had more points available and I felt less hungry throughout the day. So as you can see in my vlog, I hardly, I hardly vlogged any snacks throughout the day and that is purely because I did not have many snacks. My meals were bigger and more points in them and more juicy, which meant I had less snacks. I've got lots of my Weight Watcher bars left, lots of my Weight Watcher biscuits left. And that's just because I've had the bigger meals and the more points. And I think it's worked out really well for me. I think it's brought back my sense of portion control. So, for example, for a potato before on Purple Plan, I was having, when we had homemade chips, I was having like one and a half potatoes. Not that many, but when you add it up, it's like 11 points. So now I'm just having one potato, which is seven points. There's not much of a difference, but it's just making me more aware of my portion control and what I can do to sort of get in within those points. I, f I found it really, really good. I am actually really impressed with the green plan. Um, I did have high expectations, as I said in the as I said at the start of the video, because so many people have said really good things about Weight Watcher Green Plan. I'm up there agreeing with them. I think it's worked really, really well. Um, there, there are obviously negatives, there are negatives to every diet, you can't go on a diet and just it be positive, positive, positive. Um, there are negatives in the sense that you have to track everything. So I'm the sort of person I've said in my videos, I do not track butter and sauces. This week has sort of opened my eye to that and I have actually started tracking my butter and I've been using that in my points and I just think that for me personally, I think by tracking those butters and those sauces, you're getting a more accurate, a more accurate idea of how many calories you are consuming. Um, so I, I thought it's gone really, really well. Um, but yeah, there, there are, as I said, there is there is a negative in the sense you do have to track everything. If you're one of those people that just doesn't have time to track, or for some reason you just don't want to track. It can be difficult on green to get everything tracked and know the points. I think it does help if you have some knowledge of Weight Watchers beforehand because you sort of roughly know what the points are um, and it's sort of in your head like, oh, a baked potato seven points or a Weight Watcher brownie bar is two points. So for me personally, I sort of had an idea on what the points were, but I just found it really, really good. And for me, it was a positive and I am going to continue on the green plan. Whether I have a loss or a gain tomorrow is not going. To, um, it's not going to matter to me because I know that I've worked my hardest hardest this week. I know I've really smashed it out of the bag this week, and especially the fact that I've been poorly, um, and I've not been myself. I think I've I've done amazing this week. If I've gained two pound, I'll still be happy because I know that I've tried my best this week, and it it may show the week after if if I've gained. But I will let you know. Fingers crossed. I am got, I'm, I'm going to have a loss. Because I did have high expectations. Hoping that I would lose. Um, but yeah. So I will let you know tomorrow. So put your fingers on cross for me. That I have had a loss. So I would definitely recommend Green Plan. To anybody that wants to try it. Um, if you have any sort of comments. And you, you want to know. Any questions that you have for me. On any of the plans. Because I've now tried purple, green and blue. Let me know in the comment section below and I can answer any questions that you may have. But yeah, I found it really, really good this week and I have been getting my extra steps in as well. I think it's given me more motivation in my mental health to go out and sort of get those exercises in. And it's making me appreciate, by having more points, it's making me appreciate how many calories is in things. So like for example, in like a Kit Kat, I think it's like 107 calories. And to walk that off, like, for example, the other day I did something like 2.26 miles of a walk, which isn't that much, I guess, but for me it's a substantial amount, bearing in mind the size that I am. I have a lot of extra weight that sort of a normal standard person wouldn't have. So for me, I burnt 110 calories. Now, 110 calories is a lot of calories to burn off, but in the sense of a Kit Kat, it's a Kit Kat. So if I was to have a Kit Kat and not go for a walk, that's an extra 110 calories that I would be consuming. So it has made me realise and open my eyes up 
to a new way of thinking. So green for me has been really, really positive. I think on my mental health, getting the extra fresh air and those cal thinking about those calories. And hopefully it will be weight loss as well. So I will let you know in the morning and I will catch up with you in the morning. So I've just gone away myself and the results are I have lost one and a half pounds So I'm really really happy with that. It's it's at the higher end They say you should lose between one and two pounds a week for a healthy weight loss So the fact that I've lost one and a half pounds. I'm actually quite happy with that I'm not disheartened at all. I think this week has been really really well I definitely recommend the green plan and I'm gonna stick with it So fingers crossed for more weight loss next week when I do green plan again I am gonna continue with it and I'm also impressed with one and a half pounds because at the moment um, it's still that time of the month for me and they, rec and they say that you're way heavier than you are anyway. So I might have actually lost more weight. Um, so I will update you next week on how much I've lost weight. But thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope it's given you an insight into what I eat as a first eater on Weight Watchers. It's my first week on the green plan. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody.